witch. He might be better than the rest of the fire. He beat your chest. He's a schoolboy football. A team could rise and a team could fall. But they never will know until the whistle blows around. Come enjoy the show. He's a schoolboy football. Let's take a look at the starting lineup for Mona High. Akeem Bernard is it in between the sticks. They do have a back four of Dante Peralta, Stevon Johnson, Robinho Gordon. Fantastic player. He is Maquan pa Parchment in the middle of the park. Alex Swazo, Carlton Brown, Denzel McKenzie, of course, with 11 goals and 20 assists to his name. Demario Harris, Kishane Gordon, and Romarion Thomas up top. And uh, this is the starting lineup for Heidel High, of course, Tajari Lee between the sticks, uh, Joe McGordon, Michael Forbes, uh, Deshaun Henry, Kaelin Smith, Ronaldo Barrett, Gabriel Seaborn, Omario Henry, Kayani Jackson, Darren Campbell, and Dante Stewart. The full match highlights of Shane Nation, the man with the whistle. And after 10 minutes, this the definitive moment for Mona. Headed on by McKenzie. It came to Gordon, who just glanced up and saw his teammate Demarion Harris in an excellent position. And wasn't he clinical with his finish into the far triangle? 1 0. 10 minutes into their first Manning Cup final. And how did they know at that time that that would have been all they would have needed? They continued to drive forward. Again, it was Gordon driving the ball inside the area. Carlton Brown got his head onto it, but couldn't steer it between the sticks. Then this moment, getting into the area was high. I thought he should have taken the strike there. In the end, left it for Deshaun Henry, whose shot was weak. Thomas who was the best player on the park for Mona cutting in and find a shot really doing it at both ends he's playing in a more advanced role this season Romario and Thomas but yeah certainly a real box-to-box -box. Kishane Gordon who had a, a pretty good first half cutting on to the left foot but just couldn't find the accuracy then into the second half Heidel trying to get some balls into the area this one well defended Carlton Brown away on that occasion came into their own a little did Heidel as the second half War on Gordon, and that was excellent defending on that occasion by Barrett. It was getting back, or was it? It actually was probably Gordon putting his body on the line. Had an excellent game, did Gordon, but it wasn't enough. Heidel coming forward here, Henry Smith to yeah, and that strike off target from Ronaldo Barrett deflected as well. And as I said, there was a 10-minute period where Mona trying to park the bus. Wasn't the best option. This, they look a lot better at. Driving forward again, it was that man, Romarion Thomas, with a sublime bit of control and strike. Look at this. Picture perfect. And an inch too high. Lee was beaten. And luckily for him, his woodwork was there to back him up. And then got strong palms on that one from Kishane Gordon to keep the score at one kept his team hopes alive but unfortunately it wasn't enough couldn't find a goal yet to score in a Manning Cup final are Heidel and Mona their first time they have done the job just one goal in it five on target from 20 attempts for Mona Heidel they had 10 shots they had four on target but they couldn't find that goal. It was a busy day for Shane Nelson. Nathan, he showed eight yellow cards and there were 23 fouls as well. All 22 players remained on the park. That was good to see. Three offsides, Heidel, the guilty of the two. They also had majority of the corners and less of the possession. Mona High, 52%, as well as the lone goal. They lift their first Manning Cup title. Let's hear from our man of the match. He is with Kimani. It's Romarian Thomas. 
Thank you, Chris. I'm joined by man of the match for this Manning Cup final, Romarian Thomas. Romarian, you're a champion right now. How does it feel? Well, it's a great feeling. You know, it's kind of explain right now. I'm very happy. Yeah, you were walking by and all the fans, they were crowding you and saying they knew you would win. Was that the feeling you had coming into this game today? Yes, yes, yes. Was and how that... happy are you that you could deliver the first Manning Cup title ever to Mona High? Well, I'm very grateful for it. I've been working hard. I, I, I pay uh, All right, Romarion, congratulations. You can go on and celebrate now. Congratulations, Manning Cup champion. Thank you very much. Yeah, Romarion, Thomas there, Manning Cup champion. Back to you, Chris Taylor. Yeah, Donald, well, Romarion Thomas, top season for him. Great performance today. As I said, he has a bright career ahead of him. Didn't score today, didn't create assists, but Principal put in the work Jones. at both ends of the park. Cut back defensively, very strong on the ball as well, Thomas. And, and what a moment, as you said, filled with emotion, filled with emotion, Romarian Thomas. And I'm sure all the Mona players are as well. He finished with nine goals and three assists on the season, did Thomas. But just look at these Mona players. What a feeling it must be. Yeah, it must be a, a, a really good feeling what they've invested as far as adding to the ambition of going all the way, the 15th school to win the Manning Cup. As uh, we're waiting on the coaching staff of Mona High to arrive. But it must be a really good feeling for even the spectators and I'm sure there are quite a few neutrals would have picked up on this Mona High story and wanting to be a part of history tonight here at the National Stadium. Let's go back to Kimani. Yeah, thank you, Donald. I'm joined by Manning Cup champion coaching staff of Mona High. Coach Butler, I have to ask you first, how does it feel to be champion? It feels great. It feels great. It's a pod cup, a kit, Kirk, all of them. For more than the little kid in a wheelchair, this thing today, I told you we do it for you, because you we did it. Proud of a school, proud of a team, proud of Shelly, she's not here, but all of them did it together, one family. Coach That's Bob. what love can do, you hear you? Love conquers all things. Yeah. Speak to me a little bit more about that love and the love you have for Mona High and these young players on the pitch. What do you mean, man? I better day to do that just, to them. Just, just look at what they gave us out on the field today. All, high, all heart, all fight. The whole 90 minutes from start to finish, the boys were trying to be first to every single ball. They wanted this and they got it. And we're yeah. so proud of them. Proud. So proud of them. Was this Mona a, Pride. Mona Pride. Was Every this an time. advertisement for just believing in the school system and what the school system can produce? This is about believing in you. This is about having faith in yourselves. This is about Jamaica out of many one people. This is about showing the rest of the footballing community that if you just believe and play to what your skills are, your strengths are as a nation, we can accomplish anything. <laughs> That's what these boys did. None of these boys were ever called for Jamaica under 20 or under 15 or under 13. Or under 17. Nobody wanted them. And look how good they are. Time this thing stop now. Time we start putting the best thing, best foot forward as a nation and pick the best players. Give everybody a chance. Put a system of play in place. And a play a system of development for the country. Look how Mona play. Systematic. Right, everybody coach. knew what they were needing to do. Everybody knew their role. Start to finish. Right, Coach Butler. That's a great way to end this interview. You can go on and celebrate with your team now. Congratulations. Thank, Thank, you, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, Coach Butler there. Which team are the best and not better than the rest of the fire team beat your chest? Is a schoolboy football a team could ride?